A $4 billion project is being proposed to move about two miles of rail tracks off the crumbling Del Mar Bluffs and into tunnels underneath the city. Joining us now to share more about the Del Mar Tunnel plan and talk about uh, Hassan Akrata leaving Sandeg is Del Mar's Deputy Mayor Dan Quirk. Dan, thanks for joining us. Great, thanks. Great this to is be a here. very complex issue. You want to start? <laughs> yes. Well, first of all, this will be the largest project in the history of San Diego County. We're talking about four or five billion dollars, the largest project for Sandag by a significant margin as well. And I have been asking for some numbers, a cost benefit analysis from Sandag for over a year. There hasn't been any forthcoming information. There was a little get together at Del Mar City Council about a week or so ago, and they presented no material information, but there was a very large room full of angry people mm -hmm. wanting information. So just to put some of the numbers in context, four or five billion dollars, there's only about three or 4,000 people a day who are using these trains. That's from downtown San Diego all the way up to San Clemente, past the, the border of San Diego County. You do the math, the project for the Del Mar Tunnel alone is averaging about a million dollars a rider. And it gets even worse because up in San Clemente, so it's just about 40 miles north of Del Mar, these same train tracks run along about 10 miles of the bluffs up there. And they're talking about a 10 mile tunnel potentially to go underneath the five there. That might be $20 billion if we use the, the Del Mar cost of, of $5 billion or so for a two mile tunnel. You add those two numbers together, 20, $25 billion, you're looking at a cost of around $5 million per rider. There's nothing like this in the history of America in terms of the cost per daily rider. What are the options? So the options right now are what we're asking for is a cost benefit analysis from Sandag. They need to address this and some other very serious issues as well. There's been no public meeting at a Sandag board meeting. And I have so many people who have been calling me up. So we've got a, a very large group of people and we're just getting started. So we want to show up to a Sandag board meeting and ask questions and hear their answers to these very, very problematic issues. Have they responded? Not yet. They keep saying we're going to provide that opportunity, we'll get a cost-benefit analysis, but what they showed us at this city council meeting a week or two ago was getting that information in a year or two or three down the road. Meanwhile, they're already doing engineering studies, so it seems like they're putting the cart before the horse. And that people were upset because it was a Zoom call. They didn't even have any, you want to get face-to-face -face with Sandag board members, but this didn't work. Correct. They are talking mm -hmm. about communication, outreach, and then they don't even show up in person, and we had 50, 100 people at Del Mar City Council Chambers there in person because they thought that Sandag would be there in person as well. Are you of the opinion that the, cha the train tracks must be taken off the bluffs? Everyone agrees that they must be taken off the bluffs. I am of the opinion that one of the things that we need to look at is a cost-benefit analysis that includes looking at the I-5 option, looking at the Del Mar Tunnel option, but also looking at a no train option where we convert the train tracks into a trail. And there is a precedent across America going back decades for converting disused or problematic train tracks into trails. Perhaps the High Line in New York City, some viewers might be familiar mm -hmm. with the Belt Line in Atlanta. These are fantastic projects and something like that here in San Diego County could eliminate all the problems, the costs, the tax increases and build something really awesome because you know, as, as far as I understand it, everyone loves trails. Yeah, absolutely, especially in this county. Uh, you brought a photograph. Yes, so I spoke about San Clemente. So Del Mar, we have this huge problem and we're a little bit further down the, uh, the pipe in terms of cost and maybe getting that, that benefit analysis. But in San Clemente, the problems are even bigger. They're, they're potentially talking about a 10 mile tunnel. And the other problem is that you can see in the photo here, there is no beach there where the train tracks are it's running. It's all riprap. So yes, and there's a, a group of people in San Clemente, it's called Save Our Beaches San Clemente. They are very concerned about what the, the train has done to their beaches. So this riprap there has been used to support the, the train tracks. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of science and, and evidence that shows riprap like this accelerates the beach erosion. Mm. So we have a very, very significant problem today, even without the cost of this $5 billion Del Mar project or a $10, $20 billion project in San Clemente. The train needs to be held accountable for the loss of beach access up in San Clemente. And we're seeing seawalls here in Del Mar being built to support the train tracks as well. And there's a lot of concern that that will accelerate the beach erosion down there.
And, and just in closing, I want to get your take on uh, Hassan Akrata submitting his resignation. Well, your viewers might be aware that Hassan Akrata is the head of SANDAG, and it's been a turbulent reign, I'd say. He's been proposing many multi-billion dollar projects, and he submitted his resignation a little bit more than a week ago. And you'd think for the head of an agency where you're proposing billion dollar projects, a bunch of tax increases that you'd be there to defend it. His resignation gives a, a huge signal to everyone on the SANDAG board, as well as the residents of San Diego County, that there are significant problems within SANDAG. All right, Dan Quirk, thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, coming up on Good Morning San Diego, stick around. We're going to bring you another look at the weather forecast. Got a little bit of a cool